you better can't cook. Think you know you pay your pretty look, you want to live a restaurant and come down, man, man, book. Cook, eh, recipe book. Come in the kitchen, cause you and them no look, you better cook. Think you know you pay your pretty look, you want to live a restaurant and come Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, okay? Subscribe and turn your post notifications on so that you get notified every time I upload and that you won't miss a beat. Today we're going to be making some brown stew fish and I am using porgy. And right now I just want to show you guys a quick glance of all the seasonings that I'm going to be using for this fish. Now I'm showing you guys that I have the fish currently soaking in vinegar water and the eyes are cloudy from the vinegar. When you purchase your fish at the fish market, the eyes should not be cloudy. The eyes should look nice and fresh. The fish should look fresh, okay? If the eyes are cloudy, then that fish is not fresh. My fish came fresh at the fish market. The eyes are just cloudy because of it being soaking in vinegar. Right now I'm gonna put slits in the fish so that the fish can cook faster and also so that the seasonings can get all throughout the entire fish. You wanna be able to taste that flavor throughout every bite. And so the slits allows, you know, the fish to be very flavorful and it won't be dry anywhere you know you won't it won't be all fresh and nasty you know some people cook the food and it's very fresh no you want your fish to be flavorful tasty delicious smackalicious <laughs> right now i'm seasoning my fish you can use any seasonings of your choice obviously but i'm using the same seasonings that i showed you guys in the beginning of this video now rub your seasonings in to make sure the fish head, the fish tail, inside the fish, everything is coated with seasoning. Season your fish to your liking. If you don't like that much seasoning or if you like a good amount of seasoning, you know, do you boo-boo. And I'm using a deep fryer as you can see. I fried my fish in the deep fryer and after you fry your fish... This is what it should look like. So I'm taking it out of the deep fryer and placing it in a paper towel to absorb that excess oil. Fry the fish for five to seven minutes and I'm gonna continue frying the fish. I have six porgy fish and so I'm gonna fry each and every one of them in my deep fryer. I did them one by one because they all couldn't fit in the basket. So I'm doing them one by one. Yep. So now you can get ready to make your brown stew sauce. So now I'm pouring a little oil in a skillet. And I am going to cook the garlic. I'm going to start to cook down the garlic. And now I'm throwing some onions in there. And I'm going to have the onions cooked down. I'm going to put some bell peppers in there as well. I'm also going to place some tomatoes in there. I like a lot of veggies. I love bell peppers and onions, especially when it's cooked up. I put a scallion in there. And you're gonna let your veggies cook down you know, you, you you want them to be cooked, not soggy, but, you know, cooked 
Well, I can't tell you how you want your what, how you want your veggies. It's to your liking. But I'm just showing you guys how I do it. So I'm gonna cook the veggies down, and I'm going to show you how okay, it should be looking when it's just done. Vegetables. And I'm also going to be adding some thyme in there. Some fresh thyme. And then I'm also going to add some allspice, also known as pimento seeds. And that's really going to, you know give that pot a lot of flavor and just now I put about I want to say three tablespoons of white vinegar in there I poured yeah about three tablespoons of white vinegar in there and I'm gonna let that cook down right now I'm gonna start to mix together my little brown soup sauce so in a bowl I put some water. I did not measure, so you know, just use your judgment. I didn't measure. Put some water, and I put some gravy master, some Worcestershire sauce, and some fish sauce, and some ketchup, and some brown sugar. And now I'm gonna whisk, whisk that all together. Whisk it up. And once that veggies cook down some more, I'm gonna pour this in the skillet. This is how your veggies should be looking once it cooked down. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pour our brown stew sauce in there and let the sauce cook down. And a little seasoning. Now you can go ahead and season your sauce. I'm gonna season it with a little Old Bay and also a little uh, oh wow the name of that seasoning just slipped my mind whatever i don't mention right now i'll just leave it in the description bar make sure you taste your sauce to see if there's anything that needs to be added to it. Taste your sauce. It's okay to taste your sauce, okay? Taste while you cook. It's okay. That's how you're going to know if anything needs to be added. That's how you you perfect your food, okay? So I went ahead and tasted my sauce. And I was very pleased. So I'm placing my fish in there. And I'm coating my fish with the sauce. And oh my gosh, you guys. It smells so good. It smells so delicious. So delicious. I wish you guys could smell it through the camera. Through the video. I wish you guys could taste it. Mm, 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 mm. There you have it, folks. Brown stew fish. And this porgy. I use porgy. You can use whatever you want to use, to be honest. You can use whatever you want to use. There is no rules to cooking. It's all up to your taste buds. But I can tell you one thing. This right here is delicious. If you try this recipe, please let me know how it came out. I went ahead and plated it up for you guys so you can see how it looks plated yeah. up. Some rice and peas, some plantain. Mm, look at that gravy. Yes. Delicious. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, Leave any comments if you have any questions or if you just want to let me know that you enjoyed the video. 
go ahead and drop that down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Mwah.